Well, this episode's going to cover something that most people find offensive. <laughs> Sarah, stop. But anyone who's raised a child shouldn't be turned off by this subject matter. Because believe me, what comes out of a baby is far worse than what comes out of a dog as far as smell and everything. So, this is for all you newbies, or people that should know better, uh, a video on how to properly pick up your dog's poop. Well, before we get to the uh, subject matter for this video, I just want to let you know that we were in Yuma to get some supplies. We were going to stay at Mitri Lake uh, campgrounds there. And this time when I went out, the place was way too busy, way too noisy, getting crowded. And I just didn't like being that close to my neighbor out there compared to in the LTVA where you could camp anywhere in a hundred acres and be as close to somebody as you want to be also they were harvesting the uh, I don't know what they call them winter crops right now and that gets a lot of business on the road a lot of huge uh, equipment and if it rains that dirt turns to red mud which turns into red concrete clinging to your vehicle like uh, ice in the winter and I didn't want any of that so we decided to come back to the LTVA we're at now Pilot Knob and this is really nice it's very sparsely occupied compared to say anywhere near Quartzsite right now and we were able to go across I-8 to the center of the world and go into the uh, pyramid and get my certificate so I'll show you that little blurb first before we go to our main subject. So this is the official center of the world. And what you do is you put your foot covering the little dot, facing true north, and you make a wish. Mm -hmm. Okay, who wants to go first? Mark? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll go over here. Yes, sir. And, uh, okay. All right. And welcome to the official center. Oh, program. thank you. You're welcome. I want my Where certificate. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I've lived with animals all my life. We've had pets of all types in our family. Um, uh, iguanas, uh, six foot long iguanas, uh, two foot long alligators, uh, skunks, muskrats. Um, them was almost something out of the clampets on the Beverly Hillbillies growing up. So uh, picking up dog poop is just, you know, like picking up stones off the beach. But a lot of people just think it's a, ah, you know, and uh, they're so fanatically creeped out about it that even though they'll bag it up, they won't put it in their pocket, they won't put it in their backpack, they're just, I can't say what I think of them. But anyway, you know, once you put the crap in the plastic baggie, spin it, tie it in a knot, it ain't going to get loose. It ain't going to creep out into your other items in your backpack or your pocket. Um, unless you're dumb enough to put it in with your keys or something that can puncture the bag. Well, then that's just plain stupid, I'm sorry to say. But anyway, I'm going to show you how I, after 
nearly 70 years of picking up animal feces. Uh, does it with two dogs, both uh, crapping in different ways, how I pick up their poop and dispose of it. So, pay attention and learn something. Now, what we have here is two methods of pooping. Pooping while you're walking, thus spreading out things, or pooping in one general area. Hmm. <laughs> well, one way might be to just kick it all together, you know? Then you just have one big mass to pick up. Or there is my way, which works a whole lot better, uses less poopy bags, and takes care of the entire situation. Now, of course, there's two methods of thought here. If you're in one area for a period of time, you know, two days or so, then you could, if it doesn't bother you, let it get dried out and hard. But if you're on the trail or you're someplace where you're moving or going to move, you need to just pick it up as fresh as it is. So, either way, this is how I deal with the amount of poop two dogs can emit. So, watch, listen, and learn. So, first, I grab my doggy poop bags I have very accessible right here by the door for any emergencies inside or out. Take one. You don't need two if you do this right. And I warn you, if you're a woman or a guy with long gothic fingernails, you might not want to do this without maybe two then. Put my hand in here like a little sock puppet and now I'm going to go outside I'll show you how you pick up the poop. Well, it's a little windy out here right now, but after I make my little sock puppet, I hold on to the one corner of the base around my arm, just so it doesn't inflate with air. And I'm going to go down and pick each one of these up individually and press one into the other to make it into like a uh, poop ball, I guess you could call it. So this is how I do it. Sneak up on it, grab each one, and give it a little bit of a mush in your little plastic sock puppet to make it bind and hold together with each one you pick up. This one, press it into that one, press it into that one, press that into that, press that into that. Okay, now. I'm going to go over and pick up Sarah's. Luckily, she does hers in one pile. So let's go over there. So here we have Sarah's. Now, I've already got a handful of poop, and i got to kind of press it together a little. This will help it hold together like a snowball. And I'm going to press this into this, and I'll show you how I'm able to pick up everything. Kind of move them together. Put that right on top of that. Then I'm going to wrap this around and shove it underneath. Yeah, I pick up a little gravel maybe. And then, poop! I've got it. Now, if you take it like this, twirl it, and tighten the knot, it's full of air. It's like a balloon. And if you put that someplace, all puffed up with air, Sure as heck it's going to pop, and you will have crap coming out of it in your backpack, your pocket, wherever you put it. So, be smart. Once you got the poop in there, squeeze it softly. Get all the air out of it. Give it a little twirl. Tie it in a knot, like so. And voila. Now, that is not going to crawl out of the bag, into your backpack, into your coat pocket, and it doesn't stink in the bag. So, 
For all you people that are just so finicky about this, I hope this clears up a few misconceptions you have. And uh, it's that simple, really. Now, how I get rid of this is depending on where I'm at. If I'm on the trail backpacking with my dogs, they have their own backpacks. And I just put this in their individual backpack for whose ever poop it is. And they carry their own food, water, and poop. And I uh, luckily don't have to do this on the trail because I can wait until I'm back to the vehicle and go to an outhouse or something. I have more control over my bodily functions. But, yeah. So, what I hate is hiking in the mountains and finding these things along the trail. And I go up early in the morning... I see them, I come back in the late afternoon, they're still there, and there's nobody where I was. And it just ticks me off that people are so weird that they'll go this far and then just leave it out in the woods. Like, I, I don't know what their problem is, but listen, you squeeze the air out of it before you tie a knot in it. It's totally bagged in a plastic airtight baggie. It's not going to escape unless you yourself do something stupid to pop it or to puncture it. So, please, people, show a little respect for others on the trail or out in the wilderness. Could be the mountains, the forest, the deserts. Yeah, it's biodegradable, but, you know, if everybody didn't pick up after their dog months and years and you went out into the forest to your favorite spot it would smell worse than a landfill so okay I got it this far so what do I do with it I put it on the outside step and collect them all or else if I'm on the move I can put them in my little baggy garbage bag I have in my wet bath and then dump that when I go to fill up gas or something so, I'll show you. I take this, and I walk over here, and I just make a collection of them right here on the doorstep. This is my garbage ready. We're going to walk up to the dumpster here, take the dogs for a walk up to the dumpster and dump that. But I'll collect these during a day or two, and then I'll put them all in the garbage sack, walk them up, put them in the dumpster that simple. My dogs are very well trained. They're not going to tear the garbage apart. They're not going to mess with the poop bags. I think they're better trained than a lot of people's kids nowadays. I tell you. So that's how I pick up the girl's poop and dispose of it properly. Now you can tell I seem to be getting grayer on this trip than I've been in a long time. The dogs are getting grayer. Uh, another nine months and Sarah might have a fully white muzzle by 14 and Kate's showing her age but yeah we're all growing old together on this trail but anyway I hope you guys have learned something if not in a humorous way in a practical way about cleaning up after your pet be responsible don't be those kind of people that just say, ah, heck, it'll be fine. It's out in nature. Because, you know, how would you like your uh, neighbor's toddler coming over, pooping on your yard? <laughs> Think about it. So, with that, the girls and I wish you guys happy trails, clean trails, and woof woof. See you later.